Okay guys, I don't know what that sounds like. I'll hit some uh, hit some four irons down range here. Uh, with this conventional golf swing. And uh, let's see what the ball flight's like. Blue sky, that's why I want to do it. Got four on here guys. Look at this guys, I'm still down. That's a really passive hands. You've got no idea how, how passive those hands are with that shot. Gee, that's long. We're dead into the wind here guys straight into us and it's cold so the ball's not going anywhere but you know it's you know the hit is just and and you know why it's so centered guys because the hands are passive and they're not trying to pull the club off line get into your knees get your knees bent That's yeah, good flight for four on guys, huh? Woo. I'm still going to have channel lock in my in, in any conventional discussions I have on the golf swing because guys, it's in there, and I want to have that base, that stable ba base all the time, and that means that I don't want to be spinning. Just trying a couple of little different angles, guys, because I don't know where that camera's picking up. I might just turn it around a little bit. I mean, they're beautiful shots. They're just so centered. And I haven't been out here for <laughs> 10 days, guys. It's been, the weather's been so bad. Watch this. Hit it with the elbows, Jase. <clears throat> I mean, I don't feel like I'm swinging conventionally because I've got so much channel lock in there. But the ball's up. Just hitting a couple down the right there. I'll hit a couple down the left. Just trying to hold it back into that that headwind guys it's a headwind and it's pushing the ball that way i'm just trying to just turn it down a little bit into that wind it's quite strong you'll probably hear it on the audio tell you what it, it's it's a good thought for any golf swing to have the passive hands and and have the elbows you know doing the work come on Jay it's a lot of connection see I've got a little bit of you know channel lock in there guys because you know I've been doing <laughs> channel lock for 18 months now uh, and, and you'll see the foot there's there's no there's no drive off the off the trail leg like there is in a conventional golf swing hit it with the elbows Jase.
How's that for ball flight, guys? All right, we'll work on a little bit of rhythm. Get the club in doing the passive hands, guys. The way you get passive hands is you've got to feel the club very heavy. It's got to feel like an anvil. Then you know you're not over controlling it with the hands. Come on, Jace. Anvil head. See, even with the ball up, guys, because I've got, you know, a fair bit of channel lock in the swing now, and I've got my shoulders closed at impact, I don't hit the ball left. There's no pulls, even with the ball up there. Just hit that one down the right. Hit this one down the left. Little, little one and a half, two yard draw on that. Come on, Josh, nice tempo. Gee, that's good tempo, guys. How's that? Woo. Just hitting a few shots, guys. Haven't been out. Haven't been out for ten days. I just try and hit shots to sort of to the right of that white pole out there guys because the wind's coming across that's perfect line look at that yeah that's very passive hands guys amazingly passive hands Come on, see it hit, Jase. See, that makes a difference when you see it hit. Whew. Now, that little, little hard power draw there, that's the forward ball position. You don't get that with channel lock. That's, that's a sort of a little slinging draw. You don't get that with channel lock. But some guys might like that. I just don't like it. But that's just the forward ball position. See it hit, Jage. That's a good shot. Try to hit that down a little bit. Come on, really nice tempo. That's as good as old JH can hit it. Man. Bit boring watching Joe hit it, but guys, I just I'm just hitting a few shots today. And the good thing is I can go from channel lock to conventional and not and not hit it sideways. <clears throat> it's only the wind. Moving across there, moving that ball, guys. Come on, Chase. A little turbo time. Wow, that's going. Woo. How do I get that extra 10 or 15 in the air? I just push the arms closer together and try and hit it more with the elbows. And that really does give me a lot of lag. I, I don't get I don't get this type of lag. I never want that type of lag. I, I just want that type of lag. You know, mine's a gradual. Mine, mine's not a jammed lag. I don't like the jammed lag. Watch this guy. Well, there. That's four iron gone, two iron distance. 
that's actually gone hybrid distance. Wow, that's gone. And and that guys, that's just having more commitment to hitting it with the elbows and the hands more passive. That's all that is. Grass is wet here, guys. Watch this. Come on, Joe. See it hit. Tried to knock that one down a little bit. I'm getting a little too passive with my hands. My left hand almost came off the club then. Got to put a bit more pressure in there, JH. Yeah. That's just that's just in conjunction with hitting it with the the elbows, guys. I just pulled a little bit then with the uh, with the lower forearm. So that just gets the, the, the lead hand just a little bit more committed to hanging on. Just a grip. Guys, that was just a grip. Sort of in between a grip thing. I thought, what are you trying to do here, Joe? You're trying to hang on with your hands or your forearm. Come on. Just hang on. Just... Just touch the club and swing the elbows. Like that. Wow. Yeah, I got a bit of cross program with that other one. A little bit of a sling draw. That's the forward ball position. I don't like that shot, but some people do. See it hit, Jade. Sling draw. That's the forward ball position, guys. It's very hard to hit into out, and that's the thing that the reason I invented channel lock is I don't like that shot, and that's the forward ball position. You can't get that shot playing the ball back, but you just allow for it. You just you know just aim a bit further right if you're going to sling draw it. Like that. Just aim right and you just sling it. I don't like it. A lot of people like that. <laughs> I, I think it's a pretty awful shot. But, you know, that's a victim, uh, a circumstance of that forward ball position. Come on, Jay. See it hit. That's the shot I want. No movement. Half a yard. Just hitting some shots, guys. Boring. Come on, Joe, see it hit. That's the best shot of the day, look at that. Wow. Okay, for, for the fact I haven't been out for 10 days and I'm swinging <laughs> conventionally in terms of ball position, not bad. We've had one, one shot that was a bit indifferent. And that was just a program. It had nothing to do with the the swing. Well, I'm going to hit this hard, so what do I do? I put more pressure on the elbows. See it hit. Like that. Look at that, guys. That's hybrid distance. Look at that go. Doesn't look much difference in my swing visually. I Probably people will say, it doesn't look any different, Joe. Well, it's just that I have more pressure down and I have more commitment to hit with my elbows. Come on, Josh, a real big elbow. That's the shot I like, no movement on the ball at all. Come on, see it hit. Stay in the shape. That's the forward ball position, guys. See that shot? Now, that's the shot that plagued me and has plagued everybody in traditional golf. Forward ball position, you know, you just get up there and you just, you've got to chase the ball and you can get that little rollover. You can't get that with channel lock. But that's the reason I actually went away. It, you know, all my life I wanted to get away from conventional golf swing because of that shot. 
can't hit that with channel on. Now, in order to get that shot there, I, with that forward ball position, I've really got to you know, concentrate on keeping my shoulders closed. Any of the slightest bit of roll and you get that shot we hit before. And guys, that's not going to hurt you, a little push. Just under released. And I'm a little bit gun shy here with the release because the ball's so far forward. I mean, it, it's just. That's just dirt on the club, guys. That's just water. That's just that's just dirt and water on the club. It's just you know, like a mud ball. You get a mud ball when you when you hit a shot. Sometimes that's what that was. All right, last shot. Just powder it, JH. Come on. Get everything moving. And try and make a nice, big, long backswing. The wind's into us and blowing left to right, guys, so just picking it up and just drifting it. That's the shot. Whew, is that the shot? That's the shot, baby. See it hit, Josh. You're not seeing it hit. That's a good shot to finish on. Little slingy draw, but you know, whatever. Okay guys, just a little bit of downrange. But that's playing the ball up front. For me, it's hard now after channel lock. Uh, it just feels like I'm gonna fall into the ball. But we only hit a couple of indifferent shots here, which is, which is good. I'm really surprised. Okay guys.